hydrants that have been damaged or broken by vandals since the beginning of the hot weather season. And authorities say a thousand gallons of water a minute are wasted when hydrants are broken, jeopardizing public safety and hurting the community. Domestic water supply, the water people need to bathe, to use their toilets, uh, that becomes unavailable. Uh, and from our perspective in the fire service, uh, water supply that we need to put a fire out becomes unavailable to us. And uh, it's a problem that we've run into uh, during the last month. And O'Connor says the Fairhaven and Hill neighborhoods have been hardest hit by the vandals. Anyone caught damaging a hydrant can face a year in jail and fines of up to $2,500. Officials in New Britain, Waterbury, Hartford, and several other towns say they've been getting dozens of calls about open hydrants. And in New Haven, the situation is getting out of control with possible deadly consequences. Action News reporter Belkis Nare explains. Beating the heat this way may look like fun for kids, but New Haven firefighters say opening up a fire hydrant to cool off is illegal, not to mention dangerous. This is exactly the situation that firefighters are afraid of. This particular hydrant is right across the street from Union Station, and these children are playing in the street as cars are driving by. Firefighters say if too many are opened up at once, the water pressure throughout the city's 2,100 hydrants is reduced. And in the event of a fire, an open hydrant could mean serious consequences. In the event that we have a fire in that immediate area, it's going to cause us a delay, which very possibly could cause somebody's life. Police and fire officials say they're having a hard time keeping up with the open hydrants. The fire department says they'll have to assign someone to specifically handle shutting them off. They'll have their work cut out for them. They just came and shut it down. Do you plan on going back in a... Somebody to put it back on. But there is a legal way to let the children play without jeopardizing the neighborhood by getting the police or fire department to attach a sprinkler to the hydrant. This limits the water's output and the kids still have their fun. It's a real hot day and I'm glad that it's open. On the first day of the heat wave, police and fire officials in New Haven responded to more than 150 calls for the illegal waterworks. And as the temperature continues to rise, they can only hope that kids and adults alike will heed the warning before water fun turns fatal. In New Haven, Belkis Nere, Action News 8. And you should know that the penalty for illegally opening up a fire hydrant is five years in prison and or a $5,000 fine. Which is the one we're in right now. Action News reporter Belkis Nere explains. It's a common sight in an urban neighborhood on a hot day. Children cooling off with water coming from an open fire hydrant. It's hot and no one wants to stay in the sun a lot, so we just came to get wet. There's nothing else to do. When it's hot outside, you know, it's coming to water, it's colder. You get freshen up. Feels good? Yeah. But fire officials say that playing in the illegally open fire hydrants can be dangerous. Take this one, for example. These kids are playing in the middle of a busy intersection, and that's when fire officials say the summer fun can turn deadly. And if too many of them are opened at once, it means lower water pressure at other hydrants around town. Not to mention little or no pressure for residents in the area. Do you know how the pressure wet when you turn on the faucet and you don't get enough water? That's how the pressure wet. Firefighters are working overtime trying to keep up with the open hydrants, but beginning next month, the city's hydrant sprinkler program will begin. Attaching this sprinkler to a hydrant makes all the difference. It's reducing the pressure coming out of the water, out of the, out of the nozzle itself. So in the event of an emergency, it's something that you can deal with to attach your hoses to. And we can shut it down very quickly and make the adjustment to our hose lines, to our fire pumps, and get our hose lines where it's needed at a fire scene. Firefighters say it's not that they don't want kids to have their fun, they just want them to do it in a way that's safe for them and everyone else in the neighborhood. In New Haven, Belkis Nere, Action News. Drops and that affects the availability of water to fight fires. So, the New Haven Parks Department is now operating six sprinkler sites around the city. This in conjunction with police substations that are providing the uh, sprinkler devices for use on hydrants in safe areas of the city. This is the way to do it. The city's water supply was seriously strained during last month's hot weather. Several illegally opened hydrants were to blame. Authorities say open hydrants jeopardize firefighting capabilities. Fire and police departments are adding legal sprinklers to fire hydrants to help people keep cool on hot summer days without creating a safety hazard. Well, that incident prompted city officials and the regional water authority people to look at a possible solution. 
As Channel 3's Mika Brzezinski reports, the city may have come up with a compromise. You want to keep cool? You want the sprinkler on? With a turn and a swoosh, there's now a safe place for the children of Church Street South to cool off. Cold. It's cold. It's very, very cold. Cold. Specialized devices create summer sprinklers and prevent the temptation to illegally tap into hydrants. That's what these children say they used to use an illegally open hydrant down the street, and it was dangerous. Cut from a gla glass. Really? When you use the fire hydrants that are opened illegally? Yes. This is, in a sense, a compromise for the city of New Haven, which has been struggling to deal with the problem of illegally open hydrants that can lead to a dangerous ripple effect across the city. There were some instances last summer when, uh, for instance, elective surgery at Yale New Haven Hospital had to be curtailed because of lack of uh, water volume. So instead, these sprinklers control the water pressure on specially chosen hydrants. This is only giving out approximately 25 gallons of water a minute. The water minute. pressure isn't affected as much. The water pressure is probably not affected at all. This is no more water pressure out of here than if you had four or five faucets or you were taking a shower in your house. There's a message in Spanish and a message in English as well. And the hydrants are equipped with warnings to comply with the compromise or pay the price of breaking the law. In New Haven, Mika Brzezinski, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Officials say last summer, illegally opened fire hydrants dumped 211 million gallons of water 